that started in 2009. Ever since then, we as gamers, including Japanese gamers, have speculated about what an Assassin's Creed game could look like in Japan. F 15 years later, we finally get one in Japan. And you mean to tell me that the lead protagonist is going to be a black man? We know why you're doing this. It's pandering. Absolutely, positively pandering. It's, you cannot convince me in no way, shape, or form that if you go back 10 years, go back 10 years in the past, that Ubisoft would have put out a Japanese game set in feudal Japan with a nigga as the protagonist. You can't convince me of that. You can't do it. Impossible. Nope. Uh -uh. Not gonna get, you're not gonna convince me. Nope. What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call Out of the me way, when it comes to Assassin's Creed, where, where was I? Okay. Um, so, yeah, over, overly expensive. And then now let's get to the part about Another one. Um, Yasuke. So this is what I want to say about Yasuke. I am not a historian. Anybody who knows me personally, I tell you, like, history was my worst subject. We talking about math, I'm there. We talking about science, I'm there. We talking about history. <laughs> so I will never pretend to be, like, uh, an expert in history. What I will say, though, is being a content creator gives you an outlet for people to communicate through you. I've had a lot of Japanese people on my channel come forth and say he wasn't a samurai. I got other people who are saying on the other side that he is a samurai. I got um, Unique Breakfast Taco says, how did I get a membership when I wasn't in the chat? Mm -hmm. Beats me. I don't know. I don't know how that. I don't know how that happens. Um, but, yeah, though. So. Um, going back to what I was saying. There are people who are saying he was a retainer. Uh, a, retain, a retainer is basically a samurai. I'm like, well, you got videos of a Japanese. You got a video of a Japanese guy that's actually going around saying that he was one of the more famous foreign samurais. All that's fine and well. I just think we've moved the conversation that to something that don't even fucking matter. It doesn't matter whether he was a samurai or not. I don't care. If he was a samurai, great. Awesome. The point, the overall point of this entire Yasuke conversation is that you have a video game called Assassin's Creed that started in 2009. Ever since then, we as gamers, including Japanese gamers, have speculated about what an Assassin's Creed game could look like in Japan. F 15 years later, we finally get one in Japan. And you mean to tell me that the lead protagonist is going to be a black man? We know why you're doing this. It's pandering. Absolutely, positively pandering. It's, you cannot convince me in no way, shape, or form that if you go back 10 years, go back 10 years in the past, that Ubisoft would have put out a Japanese game set in feudal Japan with a nigga as the protagonist. You can't convince me of that. You can't do it. Impossible. Nope. Uh-uh. Not gonna get you're not gonna convince me. Nope. The only reason we're doing this is because we live in a time where people we what we just got finished talking about in my last video, uh uh that, that Call of Duty video that I dropped earlier. We talked about ESG bounties. People are getting paid to push this shit. And the reason why I don't like it is because it breeds more racism, bro. Racism ain't going nowhere. I don't y'all keep trying to like, I don't know. The fuck? <laughs> I'm a little racist. I ain't even gonna lie to you. When I see a when I see a black dude amongst a bunch of white people trying to compete, it's kind of in me to root for the black dude. Unless he's a piece of shit. Oh, look at that nigga running while he, he, he can do it. He can do it. Like if I see a black dude trying to corral some bulls, you know that's a white people's sport. We scared as fuck as bu of bulls. We can't run from no bulls, baby. I'm sorry. It don't matter how fast we is. God damn. That's a white man's sport. I can't, how they do that shit with the rope? I can't do that shit. 
But if I saw a black dude out there competing with the white guys, I'm like, okay, nigga, get that shit. Get that shit. Oh, he ain't doing it. I mean, that's kind of racist. <laughs> Rooting for the black guy because he's black. It's not, I don't consider myself racist because I can relate to him because we both black. But that don't mean that, like, that don't mean, like, I'm supposed to, like, root. That don't mean that I'm just supposed to be on your side just because you're black. I relate to you because you're black. But if you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. And you don't even got to be a piece of shit. If we don't have the same views, I ain't rocking with you. And it don't mean that I got to hate you. It just means we ain't rocking like that. But as far as Yasuke goes, If you, it's it's like, what if after all these years we've been waiting for this Blade movie, right? We've been made, we've been waiting for this Blade movie, right? Finally, after all these years, we are gonna get another Blade movie, right? And then, boom, he's gay. God damn. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> You've been waiting all these years for a Blade movie. Finally, another Blade movie that we can bring our black sons to the theater to enjoy. A black male character who isn't robbing banks or selling drugs or none of that bullshit. And you get in the theater trying to show your son Blade and this nigga's gay. <laughs> He on screen kissing other men, having orgies and whatnot. The LGBTQ community saying, what's the problem? Are you homophobic? No, I'm not homophobic. It's just I thought we was going to have a moment, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, a, a, a masculine black man, you know, is on screen saving the world and whatnot, and now he's a booty bandit. No, nah, you're just homophobic. You're exposing yourself as a homophobe. It's the same shit. <laughs> hey, look, Frostbane said broke black. He said broke back blade. <laughs> God, hey, man, that's funny. Broke back blade. I'm dead, man. I'm fucking dead, bro. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So it's not about whether Yasuke was actually a samurai or not. It's about, is it really appropriate that Japanese people who've been a fan of this franchise for, for, you're going to have to wait because I'm on stream. No, go to bed. Like he's giving me this death stare and I'm like, bro, like, what you want me to do? I'm on stream. But anyway, but yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, they've been waiting for this game for years and to have it pulled from up under the rug. Now, like I said in one of my previous videos, y'all could have easily mitigated this by making the ninja a Japanese man and then had Yasuke just be another character, right? Like, uh, like have play them as two characters, like two playable characters, Yasuke and a Japanese man. Sorry if that sounds misogynistic to the women, but I mean that's just the facts. It wouldn't never, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been no outrage if it would have been um, a Japanese man and a uh, and Yasuke. It just uh, Future Boy says, "Show us the doggo." He kind of big, man. Chopper, come here, come here, come. He kind of big. I ain't gonna lie to you. Come here. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Jesus Christ. Ugh. All right. Y'all see him? Yeah. Take my hat off. Look at him. There you go. There you go. All right. That's enough. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Your nails is too long. Ow! Ow! Fuck! That should hurt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ow, your nails are long. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, I'm, I'm gonna take you out in a minute. Just, just, just go to bed. I'm, 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 I'm almost done. Just, just go to bed, man.
Okay. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that Hollywood will burn. I appreciate that. You know, I'm out here dancing on them. <laughs> stylish, stylish, dancing on them, dancing on them. You know what I'm saying? Whew. It's hot. That shit, that shit just made me hot. But anyway, going back to uh, Yasuke. One thing about it, though, if the game is good, it won't matter. Ubisoft, Ubisoft can really, like, mitigate all this shit just by just making the game good. If it's good, it won't matter. Uh, not that I'll be playing it, but uh, I'll wait for that shit to go on sale. <laughs> if I do play it, I'll wait for it to go on sale. And, um, yeah, I'm backed up anyway with too many games. Um, I don't know. Nah, Adam, they did not show gameplay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and here's the one thing about the conversation about him being a samurai. Here's my only question. I'm not going to dispute whether or not he was a samurai anymore. And the reason why is because nobody's giving any definitive answers. Everything seems to be a whole lot of he say, she say. I got some Japanese people saying he wasn't a samurai. Others are saying that he was. Nobody has any definitive proof or answers. So it's kind of like a toss up. I feel like there's no point in arguing that point anymore. But what I do wonder is what everybody do seems to be able to agree on is that Yasuke was there for about just over a year. Everybody seems to agree on 15 months. And what we also know about samurais is that they had been trained from the day that they were, almost the day that they were born, to be samurais. Am I supposed to believe that the Japanese in feudal Japan took in an African man and, and immediately trained this nigga to be a samurai within a year? Stupid. None of Come it's on. true. None of it's true. None of it's true. It's BS. They made it up. They lie. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Am I supposed to believe that? In 15 months? Imagine, imagine you being a Japanese man. And you know how Japanese people are all about tradition honor, respect, and things like that, especially in feudal Japan. You spent your entire life training to be a fucking samurai. And some dark-skinned guy that you've never seen before pops up on your country and your leader takes a liking to him and immediately makes this nigga a samurai. Really? Really? I mean, maybe it did happen. Maybe it did happen. I don't know. But uh, if that's the case, no wonder uh, uh, Nobunaga's uh, shit got burned down. Because niggas was like, really? You don't even know this guy. So uh, that's where I'm going to call Cap on that. That's right, Manny. We calling Cap on that. And I'll leave that conversation right there. Hopefully, hopefully, that is the last time I'm addressing Yasuke and Assassin's Creed. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you.